Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Beauty Brunch Cradle. Happy Tuesday. I am so happy to be off. And finally, I have time to share with you guys the idea I've been talking about for a long, long time of what I want to share with you. So this is an idea I came up with. Um, and I'll tell you how I got to it. So you are at my table and I have uh, four pens here. I have more things, but you can't see them at the moment because I want to tell you a little story about why I'm doing this video. So last summer was, I had a lot of fun playing a game called Lucky Passy Scoops. And I will link the video in a card um of my playlist of my lucky passing scoops it was a lot of fun now i got the idea of lucky passy scoops because back then i was addicted to watching tiktok and on tiktok there were a lot of hosts playing uh while well, it was in a game it was a real thing where they the viewer watching would purchase um a scoop of crystals or gems and that's what I love to watch um the host would have ton, like all these different kinds of crystals and gems inside of this spinning sand bowl like it was a spinner and it mixed all these gems up you can tell what you were seeing what was inside and they had special things in there like um magic mushroom crystal mushrooms and i don't know i just had i loved watching it uh they stopped doing that now they host a different kind of game now but i really enjoyed those lucky crystal scoops so i thought this is a lot of fun there's a lot of interaction i would love to play with my viewers a lucky passy scoops because my pacifier collection is very very large and i do have enough to spin and blindfully reach in and pull out a pacifier now the challenge to my game was that i pulled out i don't know four or five different pacifiers and i asked you guys my viewers which pacifier you would like me to use on a baby and i would have to find a matching outfit to go with that pacifier because my collection is very large i have a large collection of clothes um different sizes of dolls and i thought this would be a lot of fun <laughs> i noticed that um a lot of my viewers were trying to stump me and try and pick the unusual pacifier but i always came up with a matching outfit because <laughs> it was a lot of fun um so here we are a year later i would love to play that game again but before I do, I want to share with you this idea that I've had for a long, long time. I just never got around to it. But um, first, before I show you the thing I've been working on again, I actually kept track of, um, well, first of all, I kept track because I needed to know the winner of what pacifier number would win. So I'd use that pacifier. But... I have all your names with it. And there was a time on my channel that like at the end of the video, I said a special thanks to, and I would type out all of your names and scroll your names. Like, thank you so much to these people. And I really enjoyed doing that. And I know that um, some of the viewers loved seeing their name up on the screen. But the thing is, um, is time consuming <laughs> so very time consuming and um i i stopped doing it um i kind of wish i kept up with it but i didn't but now i have a solution to that i have a permanent solution to that so all of these wonderful names um i have an idea of what i want to do with all of your names so thank you to all these people who participated in this game the pacifier so 
these are the votes for the so i have five different pacifiers number one and one this is my first game i ever did um this is my second game and all the people that played along <laughs> and oh i i should do this again it was really fun Oh, yeah, I also asked on Instagram, that's why it has IG. So these are the names on Instagram, and these are the names on YouTube. This is my game number four. And if you'll, if you'll notice, you'll see some names repeat. So thank you so much to the people that played more than once. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. And this is game number five. Uh, these people... Uh, voted on Instagram and these people voted on YouTube so um, so why am I showing you this well I have a permanent solution to what I want to do with your names and also with that permanent way of having your names the giveaways that I do, like when I make my homemade um, boho passy clips and those bottles I bought that I would love to give away. And who knows what else I want to give away. I I used to make headbands and bracelets. Um, so And I still have materials to make all of that. I would love to make like a bundle of homemade items from my nursery to yours. So how do I keep track? Okay, what should I show you first? Well, maybe what I made in school. <laughs> okay, this is my container for all of your names. And it doesn't look like much right now. Okay, I will see if I can lift you. I made this in <laughs> which Health class. These are, on um, the last day of our Witch Out class, it was basically a free-for-all. And these are scraps, and we were allowed to make whatever we desired. <laughs> Some people were painting uh, their little things, but I decided to make this mini tray. Um, I see that I didn't hammer this down <laughs> very well. It was a lot of fun making this, so... The only thing I didn't do was um, these pieces right here. They're actually double high. And I um, there's a saw that could like saw this in half. And because it was so thin, I didn't want to be close to the blade. So the witch up teacher did help me with making these pieces. But because they're all like this, this big. This is actually two pieces. I glued them together, um, and and I took these were two pieces cut in half, and then I nailed them on. And I know there's a lip right here, but I have plans for this. So I thought these are some old jeans. I have lots of old jeans material. Um, I made some Christmas gifts out of these. I made coasters and. Um, a hot plate or a hot mat, I guess they call it. Um, but I want to cover this in jean material, like nice and tight. And then I have, oh, I didn't bring it with me. Oh, yeah. I have, I'm going to line this with jute to make it look like a, a basket, a basket tray. And I'm not sure. I do have lots of lace. I don't know if I want lace on here or not. I might not because this jean and this together may look good enough as is. Now, what am I going to do with this storage tray? This storage tray is going to turn into my diaper caddy. And the diapers that I am planning on making are mini cloth diapers and they have a little pocket in them and this particular one I pre-made already but Lynn she comments on my channel quite a lot so I would love to everyone like all of these names all of them 
and all the people in the future who frequently comment on my games of Lucky Passy Scoops, I am going to make you your name a mini diaper and I'm going to keep them in my nursery. And in the future, when it's ready for me to do a giveaway, when I have enough money, like gathered extra money, I should say, um, I would love to send you, like no matter where in the world you are, I would love to mail you a giveaway gift. And I have, how many, like, I'm ready to give away like over 10 so far but I, I just need the shipping money to send it to you because it's very expensive where i live but i want to show you how i make these mini cloth diapers and yeah and all the diapers i pretend this is like decorated and filled i'm gonna fill this up with your names mini diapers everywhere and line them up hopefully it'll be so cool once this is finished well with these names these names so there's quite a few names on here so lighthearted life i know that's penny if i know your actual name i'll probably just use your name because um i just know like your channel name too but uh, most of the people on here i would use you like what you are like Patricia King, I know she has a channel, but um, the baby patch, like, Want More Babies 2015, I know that's Davina, because it's just shorter, so, uh, and Shelby, I'll probably, like, M Michelle, Shell, I'll probably just put Shelby, um, <laughs> for a nice comment, Aww. oh, yeah, so these are the times when I used to put, like, thank you so much, too, and I would type out your names, and the, I know this is Asha right here, so, anyway, <laughs> that's my idea, this is how I make them, so this is a very inexpensive package of, like, I think there's 60 in here, or 75, I forget how many, but I purchased this from, I can't remember if it's Timu or AliExpress. I'll find out. I think it's from AliExpress because um, Timu I just recently discovered. And I've been buying it like crazy because I love their products. I've been buying electronics, kitchen gear, uh, lunch stuff, lunch accessories, lunch bags, um... Oh, so many things from Timu. I love it. Like earrings, uh, neck, uh, uh, charms. But anyway, this is just a cloth set. And um, they're all, there's many, like look at the different patterns in here. Now, I picked this one for Lynn St. Jean because um, that to me, this is what, she reminds me of so whatever in here reminds me of you like if julie commented on my channel i'd probably use the she loves this green color so this would be a cute one or i know she loves flowers too so i don't know but you know what i mean i would love to match your personality with one of these and these took, I had no safety pins and I wanted mini safety pins. So I got these from Timu, I think. Yeah, Timu, because these, I had these in my collection for quite many months now. I just never showed you guys. I always said, oh, I have something to show, share with you guys. But when I never did, this is what I was talking about. But these are really, really cute, multicolored mini uh, safety pins. So this is how I do it. Let's just see who's next. Uh, let's do Davina's. Want more babies? Well, maybe I'll go in order. That's number five. So I don't, so I don't miss anyone. So here's my number, oh, my number six. Number five. Here's my first one. So Penny is right at the very top. Lighthearted life. So let's see. Penny reminds me. Ooh. 
There's so many nice ones. I was going to pick a pink one, but there's a nice red, the purple. I know Brie likes purple. Brie is from Princess. Princess. Where? Brie? I don't think she ever played along with <laughs> Anyways. Oh, this is nice. This reminds me of my Grandma Howell, which also reminds me of Penny because my Grandma Howell has her, like, very close to her accent. So, I choose this for you, Penny. So, this is how I do it. There's a front side and there's a back side. So, I will use the back side. And I know that some of this phrase so i guess people would use these for quilts but i'm going to use them for mini diapers so you fold it like a handkerchief and as long as these they line up now i'm not using uh, an ironing although i could <laughs> I have this in my possession for years and years and years and years and years. This is what my son brought home from school. It's a school bus safety ruler. We never ever use it. It's been sitting on my, like I have a, a pen holder on my fridge with like a magnetic uh, container on my fridge. And this has been there for many, many years. But it would be good to use to straighten this out nice and straight so I'm gonna flatten this using this finally I use for this ruler and then I have it like this I'm going to put this up close to the top If you hear the grinding noise, it's my laptop. I need a new one. But I need money for that too. So my giveaways won't be happening for a while. If I get a job, that would help out a lot. But so I need to gather the middle part too. Oh, can you even see? Sorry. So this is what. Now I would trim off any flyaways. It's not a perfect diaper, but I still like it. <laughs> and you can see the inside is like this. And then trying to find a matching pin. I could use a yellow or a green. There's dark green or light green. It's just so tiny. I think I'll just use yellow. Because her personality reminds me of the sun. Bright, cheerful, happiness. You can choose yellow. So I'm right-handed, I'm not left-handed, so as long as I don't poke myself. And that's my ice machine. You know what, guys? Sidetrack. Um, I bought an ice machine probably about 10 years ago. It was on sale and I bought it for camping only. Because back then we were tenting and we owned a cooler, but you had to buy we had to buy ice for the cooler like every um like almost every day. So I thought, why am I spending all this expensive money on ice? I'm going to buy an ice machine that's on sale. It'll pay for itself in a few years. 
So I did. I bought an ice machine, um, used it for camping at electrical camping grounds that we used to always get, and I loved it. I would come home from camping and put the ice machine along with the camping equipment and never thought about it again. A um, couple of years later, I had friends on Facebook who had these, or I even went to a friend's house with their fridge had an ice machine built in and I was envious <laughs> and my friends online would show me like oh here's me doing the drink like little videos of vlogs uh these women men anyone taking their glass going to the fridge and getting some ice and I thought oh I envy you I wish I had a fridge like that found out that I can't have a fridge like that because I don't have any proper plumbing and I can't afford to get proper plumbing and then I was looking at fridges that have like the like a storage of water to make ice if there even was such a thing and they're so expensive so I thought I was envious for years and years and years and years and then I thought <laughs> well, I didn't even think about it. I was cleaning up. <laughs> it was tidying up my camping gear. And lo and behold, here is my ice machine. And I thought, hey, I have an ice machine. It was in storage for six years, you guys. Because after, <laughs> after having a tent and we did buy ourselves like an electrical cooler. The kind that's like a mini fridge. So we never had to buy ice, and I never used had to use my ice machine. So it was in storage for six years before I finally found, rediscovered it and thought, hey, I can make my own ice treats whenever I want. So, yes, the ice machine is permanently on all the time. Um, even when it fills up with full ice, it still keeps ice uh, cold, which I really like. So anyways, that was my little sidetrack. So here's one, Lynn. So let's make pennies. Now this is just Index. This is a new pack. You could buy these from the dollar store, which is very inexpensive, or Walmart. I wouldn't spend a lot of money on these because, like I said, I could buy this for like $2. And that's where I live in Canada. For you guys, it could be like, what, 50 cents? I don't know. So let's make Penny's name. These are the colors I have. I would love to use a black for their main name and then give them a heart. Um, I really like how this turned out, so I'll probably just use... These are my pens. Uh, they're permanent. These are Bix, which I really, really, really like. And this is from the dollar store. Just some permanent. So I'm just going to say Penny. Because I just know her. I know her name on Instagram and YouTube. You can see that. I want it kind of long so it doesn't just fall out easy. Ta da! So now I have two little diapers. Or I wonder if I could just, I was thinking of painting it too, but, um, no, I think I'm gonna, so here's my two diapers, my two mini diapers. I'm gonna fill this up with diapers, um, or maybe I was, I was actually originally only going to put string around it all, but I would like a bottom, I don't know, we'll see, but. Anyways, that is my idea. I want to give my viewers and my players, my commenters, recognition for um, 
you guys commenting and viewing. I appreciate all of you so much, especially the ones who leave a comment down below because I love interacting with you guys and I always want to remember you. So in the future, I would love for you guys to see like all of this. Now, because they fall out easy, I wonder if I should just pin your name on here itself or maybe put a little tape behind here. But yeah, in the future, this will definitely be filled up. And who knows, I might need a bigger tray, a bigger something to hold all your names in. <laughs> I'm trying to wait patiently for the ice machine to finish. <laughs> it's been making these noises for a while. But yeah, um, I will link these down below of where I got them. Remember, I'm in Canada, so I'm not sure if I link them. Because some people, like say if I looked up uh, per, uh, Ashton Drake website, I can't view the Ashton Drake website in Canada, it automatically brings me to the Bradford Exchange website, which is the Canadian place of word up by Ashton Drake. And it's really annoying. I've tried so many different things. I tried different web searches, different. I even tried typing it in. And as soon as I hit enter, it'll take me to the Bradford Exchange. So um, it does that for me on Amazon too, AliExpress, uh, Timu. Uh, if I give a link and if someone else clicks on it from another country, it'll automatically generate to their country's address. So, but I will try my best to link. If you're Canadian, perfect. It'll take you right to it. Um, if you're in the States or in Australia or in the UK, or I hope that you can find it. I will leave the actual description of the name that I typed in, like the actual name of what this is called, the project is called, and uh, same with these, if you are interested in making your own mini diapers, I think they're really cute. So thank you so much for being here guys, you totally make my day, you make my week, you make my year. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I love spending time with you. You're so much fun. I love it. So keep commenting. I will always, always reply to you. I always do. No matter if there's 20, 30, 40, 10, 1 <laughs> comment, I will reply to you. So have a great day, guys. And until next time, hope. I will reveal this once it's completed and once I have all your names. I will do all of these names first. Um, but I would love to play Lucky Pass these scoops again. This is a lot of fun. So anyways guys, have a good day. Match hand. Love you guys. Bye.